This is one of my favourite exercises, back in neutral. Legs as wide as you can get, comfortably get them. I like them to be about the width of your fitness mat. If you've got a Pilates or yoga mat, having them towards the edge is great. Shoulders stay down, so I like to put my hands out to the side. And what you're going to do, I call it windscreen wipers, you're going to take the knee to the floor. So you allow your hip to come off the ground as you push that knee towards the ground. Lift up, but keep those feet really wide apart so that you can get that inner knee almost to the mat. You might even be able to, but it doesn't matter how far it goes, it's got to be comfortable for you. You're going to feel a stretch on the inner thighs. You're going to feel a lovely rotation in the spine, a stretch through the lower back and side of the body. This should be comfortable and relaxing. So if that's painful for you, keep it small. It doesn't matter if you're only moving six inches, four inches even. It doesn't have to be all the way down to the floor. You're going to go with what feels right for you today. Tomorrow you might not move as far or you might move further. It depends how tight and stiff your back is feeling. I love this one. I really find it loosens my back when it's tight and loosens through my tight hips. Try to do an even number both sides. So if you started with the right leg, you're going to finish with the left. And this next exercise we're going to open out through the hip so what I want you to do neutral spine arms by the side of the body lengthen the back of the neck lift the foot up open out the hip and touch the toe to the opposite knee and return it to the ground alternating sides we're doing about eight each side breathing out as you lift up in as you take that leg back down Again, this movement should be coming from the hip, trying to keep your pelvis as still as possible. Move with your own breath, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Try not to rush the movement. If you feel you want to go slower than I am, that's fine. One more each side. This exercise I want you to lengthen the back of your neck. If you've got anything under your head, please take it away now um, as we're going to be rolling up and putting some pressure on the back of our shoulders so we don't want to put pressure on the neck at the same time. Feet to a round hip width apart. If you're unsure about that, feet together, toes out, heels out. Bring the feet as close to your bottom as com is as comfortable. And I'm going to ask you to start with lumbar flattening. So you're going to flatten your lower back into the mat, squeeze your buttocks, and roll up one vertebrae at a time. So think of a string of pearls, you're lifting up one at a time, up as high as you comfortably can, and then taking that back down. Think of it slowly one vertebrae at a time. Roll that back, back into neutral. Breathing out as you flatten the lower back, and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Coming back down slowly under control. Now, if you find that your knees are dropping out, which is something I see often happens, you might want to put a rolled up towel between your knees or a small ball or a cushion, whatever works for you. Nothing too heavy, but just something that will help keep those thighs together. Don't worry too much about how high you're coming at the moment. Just concentrate on the bottom of that move, coming back into neutral, thinking of the lower back, one vertebrae at a time, into the floor, and to peel it up one vertebrae at a time. 
and then breathing in as you come back down. Work with your own breath in your own time. Try not to rush the move. Be really aware of your body and how it feels as you do this. Let's go for two more. Squeezing your buttocks. If you're finding your hamstring is a cramping, make sure before you start to lift that you squeeze your buttock muscles. It's going to make those engage rather than your hamstrings. But if you have cramp, then please rest for now and you can come back and do it another day. We're going to hug both knees into the chest. All I need to do is pull both knees in and up. Let your lower back go into the floor. Hug the knees and we're going to hold them. Keep breathing in through the nose. Hug through the mouth. And then gently put them back down to the mat. And slide the legs out straight. Let's do that twice more. Try and keep the back in neutral or flat to the floor. We're trying to avoid arching the back as we take the legs up and down. Hug it. And then as you come down, control that through the abdominals, through the tummy muscles, and slide the legs away. Let's go just one more. Trying to keep that back in neutral. Doesn't matter if your legs don't straighten all the way out. Slide the legs back, lift, hug. Really under control, hold your tummy muscles in, tip the feet to the floor and stretch the legs out without tilting the pelvis, without arching the back. Well done. This exercise is a fan, so you need to have enough room to have your arms out wide. The legs are going to be straight or as straight as they come to pick our neutral spine. You have to keep the heels on the floor, but you allow your buttocks to come off if you need to. And you're going to take the hand over, arms up. Hands are about shoulder height. Out to the side, you're going to reach up and over. Take the hand over to touch the other fingers and then roll back. You stretch and a twist through the lower back. That's one. We're going to try and do eight each side. Breathe out as you go over, in as you come back, out through the mouth, in through the nose. both sides so if you feel a need to press tree please make sure you have gone both sides try to keep the body evenly worked let's go for one more each side you might find you have to do two on one one on the other Make sure you've done the same number both ways. That's our last one. And release. While I've done that exercise, I find that's a little bit tight on my lower back, so you might want to hug the knees into the chest and just roll the knees around a little bit, or just take the knees over to one side. 
Rest in that stretch. Just taking the stretch from a different angle in the lower back. 